So my name is Amin. I'm a winemaker and I'm crafting for Moet et Chandon. So Moet should be pronounced Moet with the T because, uh, because uh, originally the founder in 1743 name was Claude Moet and Claude Moet has a Dutch origin or a Dutch heritage. Uh, the winemaker is who make the wine, so craft the wine, take the grapes, crush the grapes and then ferment the juice and then blend and create a, 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 a cultural product. The sommelier is the one who presents with beauty the wine. So I will make it as a winemaker and the sommelier will present it, <coughs> will propose a pairing with this wine. Since uh, Moët et Chandon is a historical house of Champagne, the outstanding Champagne should have an authentic and historical background. So Moët et Chandon, almost 280 years ago, has been settled. So we have the experience, the history, the transmission from generation to generation, our savoir-faire means the know-how. And this is a key point for outstanding champagne. The second point, since the champagne is produced and crafted from grapes, to make outstanding champagne, you have to have outstanding grapes. And in Champagne, Moët et Chandon owns the largest vineyard in Champagne and the most qualitative vineyard in Champagne. Bigger is the diversity, the richness, and uh, the richness of uh, having different hints to be able to blend the most harmonious and qualitative blend at the end of the year. So outstanding champagne, history, authenticity, transmission from generation to generation, grapes and knowledge. In fact, uh, we create and elaborate champagne to be enjoyed by the consumer. And if the consumers want to uh, to, uh, to experience a different way, a different moment, why not? We are not know about being free, being playful with champagne, but you should choose the right champagne to be playful. And if the consumers want to uh, imagine by freedom different uh, cocktail, why not? So champagne is a wine. Since champagne is a wine, so we can be playful and we can propose it as a wine for pairing. So we should have rules to pair. For example, Moët Imperial is a brut champagne, is a fresh, bright fruit in champagne, elegant champagne, should be paired with simple, fresh and springful dishes. Something like salads, uh, Greek salads, uh, sushi, uh, fruits, Besides this, if you talk about Grand Vintages, Grand Vintages are complex and rich champagnes, can be uh, paired with main dishes, something like risotto, mushrooms, and, and so on. And by the way, champagne is not exclusive to pair with the oysters and luxury uh, product. Champagne can, can be enjoyed with simple dishes. Champagne should be stored away from the sunlight, from natural light. And then there is no conventional way to store it upside down or on, uh, on, on the neck, but should be stored in a adequate temperature. So between 13 to 18 without a lot of fluctuation on a stable temperature. No, don't even have a spoon, it doesn't work. So you have special stoppers. After opening the bottle, you can use the stopper and you can keep your champagne one night on the fridge. But my recommendation, you open a bottle, you finish it. Cheers. <laughs>